Happy. Oh, here she comes. Dun, da, 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 da. Slappy, look. look into these filters they're making a lot of noise what's up everybody welcome back to another video on my channel my name is Dion and you're watching reptiliatus friends today we are doing a super feeding video because why we're feeding silkworms to the animals as you may or may not know every month I try my best to do a silkworm feeding video where I feed all my animals silkworms but why is it that we do this? Quick recap, silkworms are loaded with an incredible amount of protein. In fact, you could say that they have the highest level of protein available in any type of commercial feeder insect. Not only this, they're loaded with magnesium, iron, vitamin B groups, and calcium. They also contain an enzyme called serapeptase that is known to help reduce inflammation. So all the properties that make up these little squiggly worms that are juicy, succulent feeders for those animals are the reasons why I promote them on my YouTube channel and encourage you all, for those who have animals willing to consume them, to offer them. So without further ado, let's get right into the video, starting with some really, really cool lizards. Hello, Mr. Basil. How's it going, buddy? Hi. Look what I've got for you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So his fogger's on right now, because I usually have it on in the morning to elevate the relative humidity. Did you see? Did you see what we got here for you? It's up here. Here. Oh, nice. There he is. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. He definitely enjoyed that. Hey, buddy, you want another one? Here. As you can see, we're making some really good progress with Basil. He still can be a bit shy, but he's come a long way, as you hopefully can tell. The work I'm putting in, I think, is very valuable. Mmm, nice basil. He always kind of runs off with the food, but he is getting a bit braver. Yes, awesome, buddy. Well done. All right, let's move on. Guys, oh my goodness, a new baby. Tribulonotus gracilis, red-eyed crocodile skink. There's Sappy, the proud mama. I'm gonna let them go. They were just basking over here on the wood. Get some UVB, so go ahead, buddy. Off you go. All right, let's see if Miss Sappy over here would like a silkworm. There's literally no way she doesn't. She loves silkworms. Happy. Oh, here she comes. Dun, da, 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 da. Sappy, look. Come on. Climb up the filter. You can do it. Climb up that pothos. It's your favorite. There you go. Mmm. There she goes. I also wanted to see if any of their offspring want one. Hey, buddy. Would you like a silkworm? There you go. That was awesome. Thank you. Oh, there was somebody. Hello. Would you like a silkworm? Here. <laughs> uh, another baby took one. That is just awesome. Finally, it's not just sappy eating. We got some other animals eating in the same family's enclosure. Okay guys, so if you don't already know, this is Sabzi, the green tree monitor, and we're gonna offer her a few silkworms, but we're gonna do it in a bit of an enriching way. So we're gonna place the bird nest she loves here, and then we'll put a silkworm in it and let her find it. So pretty straightforward. We have a silkworm, which she absolutely loves. No, you're not jumping. <laughs> she wants to jump over here. Sabzi. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, you're trying to figure out how to get to it already, huh? Here. You need to jump. Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> Sapsy. You're good. Chill. Oh, my goodness. Look at her. Sabzi. Okay. The silkworm is in the nest, as you can see. Now she says to come to the nest. Sabzi, come check this out. Up here. Go to the nest. See the nest? Here. Go check out the nest. That's your nest. You love the nest. Ah. Uh -huh. Is she detecting some food in there? She's gonna go inside. What's in there? Huh? Did you find something? Oh, yes, you did. Your favorite. Here comes the mess, everybody. Oh, boy. There's one thing this lizard loves doing. Making a mess. Okay, okay. To be honest, if she just takes that down like that, that's not too bad. Not too much shaking, all right? Hey! There we go. Okay, Sabzi, you know what? That was that was all right. That wasn't too bad. I'm impressed. Good job, girl. Mmm. Don't worry, we got more for you. Come, Sabzi, come. Come on. She's like, is there more inside that? Do you have more food? <laughs> oh, all that tongue flicking just tells you how excited she is. I love it. The body language is pretty funny. Are you checking for more silkworms? There's nothing else in there for you. Oh, I didn't put another one in there yet. Hey, hello. All right, she's gonna come back. Now the next toy that Sabzi goes crazy for is this ball. She loves it. She always knows that when the ball is dangling, there's food for her. So we'll put a silkworm in it and see how she reacts. Okay, everyone, you can see the silkworm in there. Just dangle this in here and let her, just dangle this in here and let her do her thing. Sabzi. Do you see the silkworm? <gasps> What's in there? Is that a silkworm? <laughs> Is there a silkworm in there? Huh? And you can see she has her tail wrapped around the branch. Is there a silkworm in there, Sabzi? Get it! Which way are you gonna go? And sometimes I move it around a bit because just make it a bit more interesting. But I know you can detect it. As she sees it. She's so excited. Come on. <laughs> Are you going to get it? Her tongue is licking it. That's how serious she's like. I know you're in there. Now, how do I get to you? And these sort of little puzzles are great for the animals. Nice. Good job, girl. Oh gosh, that's gonna be a messy one. Eey. Oh boy. Ah, oh, Sabzi. Gross. Oh my gosh. Can't even tell what that ever was. E gross. Ugh. You're crazy, girl, huh? You really needed to do that. Like, gut the thing before you ate it. You got it. Ah, Sabzi, that's so messy. Oh my gosh, my arm is literally getting hosed down with mulberry guts right now. Please just eat it. Stop thrashing, swallow it. Oh, Sabzi, you crazy, crazy girl. Ugh. Yikes. <laughs> okay, I think that's good for her. You had enough. 
So this here is one of my favorite enclosures I have in my home. It is a paludarium that houses my 1.2, one male and two female, Shinisaurus crocodilurus, which are the Chinese crocodile lizards. Now we're gonna go ahead and see if these usually somewhat shy and elusive animals are open to feeding on camera. My male's usually pretty good, that's him right there. And uh, it's the females that tend to be a bit more shy for the most part. It really depends how hungry they are. When they're really hungry, they're usually pretty interested in food. So, well, we'll see what happens. Hello, sir. Would you like a silkworm? Mmm. Tasty. Now, one of my females is hiding in this cork hollow. I call her Rexy. She's named after the T-Rex from Jurassic Park. However, I have not named the rest of them. So if you have some names for my male and the other female who's hiding in this cork hide back here, drop them in the comment section down below. I'd love to see. No, you had one already. You're not getting another one. Are you kidding me? Dude, not a chance. You already had one, sir. Okay, what about this girl? Uh-huh. Okay, okay. You see her snout? She's shy. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, she got one. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all what you think is the number one priority our community needs to focus on. What does the reptile community need right now? Let me know in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll give your comment a heart, and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks. So Basil, you already had two. You don't need another one. Hello, Mr. E.T. Would you like a silkworm? Everybody, you want another one? <laughs> he sees it. Okay, let's see if Miss Torch wants a silkworm. Oh, job girl. Hey, cool. There's like a little plant growing in the cork. That looks nice. Interesting. Okay, I got a nice juicy one here for Tiki. Come on, buddy. Look at that. You really want to miss that? What's up with you? Why aren't you in the mood to eat? <gasps> Look at that. One of the baby tokies is here. Check it out, guys. Oh, okay. Cute. I was happy to be able to show you, but Torch is coming back for another one. If Tiki doesn't want it, she gets to have it. Nice. Yeah, the Toki family is growing big. There are four offspring in here with Tiki and Torch. Torch's favorite spot to lay the eggs. 
I don't know what's going on with Mr. Teeks today. He's just not in the mood to put in much effort, but we'll give him a silkworm. We'll make it easy for him. Tiki. Hello. There you go. Silly hooligan over here. Hmm. All right. Let's move on. Okay, guys. It's time to feed the Toke twins. They are each going to get a silkworm. Hello. Come on over. If you would like it, you got to come get it. Come on. Do you want a silkworm? Oh, there you go. Over here. I'm just gonna give it to you because this is too hard. There you go. Yum yum, enjoy. Perfect. All right, so I tried to give Leela a silkworm and she just had no interest. So whenever she's not down, we can always rely on Pingu to eat a silkworm because Pingu pretty well never turns down a silkworm. She loves silkworms. Isn't that right, Pingu? She absolutely relishes silkworm. She's always down to eat a silkworm, right? Are you going to... What are you doing, silly goose? There you go. Ooh, gross. Well then. I guess you could say she had a very big meal. Nice girl. Now, before we head off for today's video, I want to take a moment to sincerely thank my patrons over on Patreon. You guys are supporting my channel in ways that you can't imagine, and it's super cool. I want to take a moment to sincerely thank you all for continuing to support Reptiliatus channel, and I also want to take a quick moment to thank my two newest channel patrons over on the platform. First, we have Amy and Julie. Thank you so much for supporting Reptiliatus. You guys are fantastic, and I hope you enjoy the perks that are associated with becoming channel patrons. If you want to learn about how you can become a patron for as little as $2 a month, you can check out the link down below to learn more in the description. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it. It's always a blast getting to feed the animals, show you all how much fun that can be, and how interesting it is to see each one behave a certain way and take down prey a certain way. You know, there's a fascinating aspect to that. It really gives you that planet Earth vibe at home that we all love to kind of see when it comes to feeding our animals. And if you can do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up, it's such a small little gesture that if you sincerely like the video, goes a long way to making the video do better, telling the YouTube algorithm that you enjoyed the video and that maybe other people should be exposed to the video to have the opportunity to watch it too. So if you want to do that for me, I would appreciate it. So with that all being said, if you want to see more silkworm feeding videos, you can check out the playlist up above here to all the silkworm feeding videos I've made made on this channel. Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful rest of your week. I will most likely see you later on this week for a second video. And I think it's going to be about scorpions or crocodile things. We will see. We'll leave it at that. I look forward to seeing you all in another video again soon. Take care.